Hey y'all, welcome to my updated 2024 shower routine. Let's get into it. So before I get into the shower, I like to start with my oral care. This is me flossing and I use mouthwash before I brush my teeth. I used to use it after, but I learned that you're supposed to use it before. So this is me trying out that method and see if it works or what works differently. Then I go in with my toothbrush and my Sensodyne toothpaste. They're brushing my teeth. Don't forget my tongue. All that good stuff. So now to prep my body for the shower, I like to dry brush. If you don't know, dry brushing has so many good qualities, exfoliating your body and circulating. And it also helps with the lymphatic drainage. I think as we get older, we start paying attention to um, things like that. So yes, if you don't already dry brush before your shower routine, I suggest you start. Okay, girl, so now we're into the shower and we're going to start with our hair. I just took out my weave, so my scalp is kind of sensitive um, right now, but I'm going in with the Olaplex shampoo. This shampoo works for me. I mean, a lot of people have different um, thoughts about it, but I stick to what works for me and I love the Olaplex shampoo. My hair is kind of dirty, so it's not lathering up as much. But you do this a couple times and you'll notice a difference with the soap. Next, I'm going to go in with the number five conditioner from Olaplex as well. I like to put in the conditioner, let it sit, especially if I haven't washed my hair in a while. I like to get all those good ingredients. So yeah, this is me just rubbing in the conditioner all over from top to bottom. our hair out the way we're gonna go into skincare I like to do my skincare or at least my face wash while I'm in the shower I go in with Panoxyl 4% I've seen such a big difference when I use Panoxyl it actually gets rid of my acne and I haven't used it for a while and I noticed such a big difference so I definitely 10 out of 10 recommend now we're gonna go into body care I start off with a pre cleanser I mean, an oil-based cleanser before I actually go in with my body washes and soaps. And I also use the African Net to wash my body. If you don't use the African Net, y'all, please go get one right now. I love this. Instead of using like a washcloth or anything like that that carries bacteria, I suggest you use the African Net. Next, I'm going to go with the smoother from Naturium. It's a glycolic acid body wash. I just like to stick with my OGs. And when I use this, I notice how smooth my skin gets. And I suffer from body acne. So I try to get an even skin tone as, as much as I can. And the smoother is that's what does it for me. So now I'm going in with the Love Wellness pH Balance Cleanser. Um, for my ladies, this is a perfect wash for our homegirl down there. You know, real simple, real clean ingredients, gets, gets the job done, and I love it. Okay, y'all, I don't rave about a lot, but this raw sugar salt polish, I love it. I use it for exfoliating before I razor, but the smell alone, oh, I love it. If you don't have this, I definitely recommend. Now I'm going in with the EOS Shaving Moisturizer. Um, a lot of people use shaving cream, shaving oils. I love this EOS Moisturizer. It's so smooth, easy to use. Like, And I'm going in with the Billy Razor. This is my first time using the Billy Razor. Billy Razor, I'm sorry, y'all. 
and I love it. Make sure you're using simple strokes so you won't cut yourself. And when I'm using when I'm using it under my underarms, I like to go in different directions so I can get an easy clean shave. This is me washing off the um, face wash. I let the face wash sit for a couple minutes while I do my other stuff. Now I'm going in with my Dove Moisturizing Body Wash. This is just to lock in and bring back the moisture that maybe was taken out from all the other body washes. Um, I love Dove. I'm a stick beside Dove. It gets the job done. It's not a cleanser, but it's a moisturizer and it brings back all that moisture. And this is just us wrapping up the um, shower routine. I had a ball. I love taking my showers, my long showers. It could be draining. So while, the, while we're in there, it's best to listen to music, have a good time, love on yourself. You know, the important things. Now, this is my first time using the Lumi. I think that's how you pronounce it. The whole body deodorant. Um, you, it's supposed to use it in your intimate areas, your armpits, your lower your homegirls not on it but like around those areas because we sweat in those areas throughout the day it's important to be fresh down there and yeah i love it then i'm going in with my degree spray deodorant this is my first time using degree i'm usually a dove deodorant girl but it lasts me throughout the day and i don't have any problems now i'm going in with my uracin lotion you guys we're going we're moving into the ashy months of the year okay this is when our skin gets dry the air is thick and crisp and yeah we be ashy so i need a thick um moisturizing lotion especially with my dry skin and uracin does that for me if you're extra if you have eczema like me uracin is your best bet i love it i rave about it it keeps me moisturized and i love it now i'm gonna go in with my avino body oil i think this is the jaboba oil you guys not only is it moisturizing but the smell alone it just partners well with the body products I use for my in my shower. And I get so many compliments when I spray this. I, I use it for moisturization, but a lot of people tell me I smell so good when I use this oil. So I definitely recommend. Next, we're going to go in with this body spray I picked up from Target. I can't remember the brand, but this is just a smell good to lock in everything after we finished our shower routine and that's it i hope y'all had fun i had fun i love a good shower and it leaves me smelling good feeling good so if you liked it give me a thumbs up make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in the next video bye